Ponyture Robot Vacuum Cleaner. I'm Joost and today I'll install the Honeyture Robot Vacuum Cleaner. So let's unbox this and see what we get. <laughs> okay, so that's an extremely large quick start guide. It has a large a QR code to download the app. So we'll do that in a minute. Of course, here is the Honeyture unit. So let's see that. Oh, this is great. It's nice and shiny with the silver metallic buttons here and you can see the spinning wheel right over here so that's cool here are the spinning feet a charging cable a dock for it there's a dock oh so that's pretty sturdy and it has nice rubber feet here on the back so this can stand on a flat surface the manual which is pretty large and i have to dig into that Oh, and here is the mop. So that's also pretty cool. We have a remote right here, Some batteries for the remote. So let's get this thing set up. Okay, so the instruction manual is pretty easy to understand. First, let's remove the protection material from the robot. So we can easily do that. It's just a soft foam there on the sides. So that's already gone. Now we'll install the side brushes, which is also right there in the book. So let's turn this over, flip this over. Oh, and here is another foamy piece right here. It's for the sensors to keep them safe in travel. And let's see, where are they? Here they are. So that's very easy to do. You have a left one and a right one and they're even color coded. So just click these on here. So that's on there and this one here. So now they're both on there, so they're able to work the side brushes. Of course, this is the main brush right here. Then we need to place the charging dock on a flat ground against the wall and connect the power supply. So let's do that. And it's very easy to set up. Just place the charging dock on the floor and then stick in the charging cable right in there. And then you can put that in any outlet that you have. So you can really put this anywhere. And once you've done that, you just place the robot vacuum onto the charger so it can start charging. It already comes charged, so you can immediately start using this. And you can use this with the remote, which is very easy, just put in the batteries and you can already begin to use this. You have a few different buttons, automatic cleaning. You can click on home to start recharging. There are direction buttons, you can control it as well. There's spot cleaning, edge cleaning, and you can use the mop with different water controls, high, middle and low, and you can control the suction level. Now, when you click on start, you need to go around the room and clean everything. So that's pretty neat. Now you can also use this with the app, just install it with the QR code. You can install that, create an account, and then you're good to go. And there are a few different ways of controlling this. When you add your Wi-Fi, it will look for this device and you can immediately detect it when it's nearby and you can add this to your account. So this very, it was very easy to connect this. And then once you're in the app, you can turn it on with the on button, which is quite easy. There's also a charge button here, so it will go back to the dock. You can see the battery percentage here, the cleaning time that it's cleaning, the cleaning area, how much it has cleaned already. You have a few different modes here that you can clean with. You have the spot cleaning mode. Once you click that, it will go around in circles around the spot that it's in at that moment. And you can also schedule this. So you can set this for a particular time of day and repeat that for like every week or so. And you can also look at the map and see where this has cleaned already and where it is currently. So you can really look at everything there is with this device. Now the other cool thing you can install here is a mop. It's also very easy to install. There is a built-in water reservoir right here at the bottom. So that's also pretty nifty. You can add the water to that very easily. And then click on the mop here on the back. Just click that in. And with the mop, you don't need to use any detergent. Well, I use a little bit of vinegar, even though it says not to do that in the manual. 
because with a little vinegar you also clean and disinfect the entire uh, floor so that's also pretty great and of course you can control the mop water level high middle or low from the app or from the remote now one extra feature you can install here and that's why i love this thing so much is you can set a barrier with the magnetic line you get with this so you can just lay down the magnetic line it's very low so you can use this to prevent it going into your kitchen or other area but i use it to prevent it going to the cat litter boxes because sometimes there will be some droppings or other things around there so i don't want this to go in there without me being present so just put that down and as you can see it won't go over the line so as you can see it's very easy to install and really recommend this one for anyone who wants an easy and good robot vacuum